Hello and welcome to Numa Real. I'm your host, Damon the Real Nailer. We thank you for tuning in. We surely have a great show in store for you today. We're going to explore an interesting concept, and that is none other than the Battle of Armageddon. You heard that right. This is what happened when Jesus comes to the earth realm for the third time. Most people don't even realize that Jesus is going to make three trips to the earth realm. And we've already talked about the second coming, the day of redemption, the rapture, the transformation, the resurrection. If you hadn't seen that episode, we admonish you to do so. And that will make this one make much more sense. And we're going to look at the when, the where, and the what happens with this battle of Armageddon. When the day of redemption is what will serve as the catalyst which will unite the world's leaders to defend Earth from the so called extraterrestrial takeover. The extraterrestrial takeover will be none other than Jesus and the armies of heaven coming to inherit the Earth realm, which was already spiritually succeeded to him when he defeated death, hell, and the grave with his death and resurrection. Once that's, that happens, Millions of people are going to disappear during the redemption or the first resurrection, the rapture, and the dead are going to resurrect. So the world would then be aware of the next phase, which is Jesus and the saints coming to take over the world. And what will take place is the battle of Armageddon, which will come not long after the day of redemption. So what happens once redemption takes place, we'll go to heaven for a short period of time that will give the, the world the opportunity to know that, hey, when what he said he was coming to get his people, but then he's coming back. And during that time, they're going to get prepared. And while we're gone that short time, they'll be ready for the time when we come back into the earth realm. So what will happen or where will it take place rather Three unclean spirits exit the mouths of Satan, the beast, and a false prophet, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and the, the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. And he gathered them together unto a place called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon, which is near Jerusalem. This scripture or these scriptures in Revelation tell us it will be near Jerusalem. Then we go to Zechariah. It says, Behold, the day of the Lord coming, and thy spoil shall be divided in the midst of thee. For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle. And the city shall be taken, and the houses rifled, and the women ravished. And half of the city shall go forth into captivity. And the residue of the people shall not be able, will not be cut off from the city. Then shall the Lord go forth and fight against those nations as when he fought in the day of the battle. Here again, it says they're going to all the nations going to gather gather against Jerusalem. Where will it take place in Jerusalem near Jerusalem? All of the worlds, the kings, the leaders, the armies are going to be ready to battle the Lord in Jerusalem. All right. So now we want to know what happens. These are the scriptures you can look at. And we're just going to give some points of what will happen. Jesus and the armies of heaven will come to earth riding white horses. We want to place emphasis on here on the white horses because we know with the day of redemption, he comes on a cloud. He just descends into the earth's atmosphere. He never touches the ground, but he comes on a cloud for the day of redemption or the second coming. Here with the third coming, he's coming with the armies of heaven, which I'll be a part of, amen, and we'll be riding white horses. The kings of the earth and their armies gather near Jerusalem to fight the Lord and his army. Jesus will specifically set foot on Mount Olives and it shall split, causing an earthquake we see occurring with the seven trumpet and seven vial. This event is coordinated with those two things, the seven trumpet and the seven vial. Jesus will take the beast and false prophet and place them in the lake of fire and brimstone, which is the second hell or Gehenna as it's called, Gehenna. The Lord will destroy many with the sword which proceeds out of his mouth. But we won't stop there. Also, the Lord will release a plague on a people who fought against Jerusalem. It will cause their flesh to consume away while they stand on their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongues shall consume away in their mouths. This same 
plague will affect the beasts, horses, camels, and other animals. Additionally, the law will cause a riot among the people, causing them to turn against each other. And lastly, the fowls of the air will eat what's left of the men and animals' flesh. This is going to be a very interesting event that takes place. And the key is knowing when it happens. It happens after the day of redemption or the resurrection of gathering. And once we're gone, this is what's going to unite the world and let them know that Christianity is the true and bona fide religion and that Jesus is coming back. And they're going to try to take and prepare to stop Jesus from taking over the earth realm. But we know already that they will be defeated. If you analyze what's been going on, we've been actually conditioned. The devil has been trying to condition mankind for this event. And he's been doing it through these out of space movies, through these extraterrestrial takeover movies. And if you notice, there's a common trend that sometimes, well, the, these extraterrestrials, they come and they gather people, they infiltrate their bodies, which is the same thing, similar to the people being born of the Holy Spirit. These extraterrestrials supposedly inherit and get inside the people's bodies, and then they take them. And all of a sudden, they descend into the Earth's atmosphere, and they come to take over the planet Earth. And if you will notice, the common theme is that all of the armies of the world gather together to defend battle Earth, or to defend and battle for Earth. And this has been planned over and over. And if you notice, these movies are becoming um, more and more common now because we are getting close to this time period. And Satan is just trying to indoctrinate and condition people for it. Hope you enjoyed this segment. Tune in for the next one because we'll be looking at the battle of Gog and Magog, which will ensue like 1,000 years after this battle. But we hope you've gotten a, a firm understanding of what takes place with the battle of Armageddon. Until next time, be blessed in Jesus' name. Thank you.